guys with holes and cutlasses. And the elites that have the capacity to go there, you need to create the policy framework and the enabling environment, touching on land, touching on machinery, touching on logistics, for the elites to be able to invest in agriculture. So those things are key. Then we need to do a proper gap analysis. I've seen a lot of figures being thrown around that we are producing 10 million metric tons of rice. We are producing. The, we need to actually ascertain the validity of all those numbers, so that we are sure that actually we don't have a major supply crisis. If you have a major supply crisis, there is nothing wrong in trying to fill those gaps. If you can't fill it domestically, you can fill it by supplementing with imports, so that at least the challenge of feeding you know, we will we, we, we be reduced. But do you think that the inflation figures are going to go higher than this, or will they drop? No, they could drop, because we are going to harvest season now. I mean, I hear that the price of yam is already dropping, because there's a lot of harvest of yam. And luckily, we have some good rains, so we are likely to see positive outcomes in the area of maize harvest and some other grains. But again, we need a framework that will make production sustainable, oh. not relying on just rain-fed agriculture and things like that. That, that cannot carry us. OK, well, we'll come to that. We'll, we'll take that up in a minute. But mm. we do have this uh, uh, breaking news. The National Association of Resident Doctors has resolved to proceed on a total and indefinite strike. Well, they took that decision following their National Executive Council meeting, which lasted from 7 p.m. yesterday up until 3 a.m. today. The doctors say that they will sustain the industrial action until all their demands are met by the federal government. And uh, this is signed by Dr. John Nyebweze, who is the president of National Association of Resident Doctors. So uh, the breaking news is that uh, the doctors are going on a total and indefinite strike, having risen from their National Executive Council Committee. We'll bring you more on this matter as we do get them. Wow, this is uh, another scenario uh, to the entire system. But when you talk about having a proper gap analysis, you know, because there are times that when you uh, hear government officials, when they speak about that uh, economic recovery and growth plan, they speak about different policies that they have. They seem to, again, as I referred to earlier, demonstrate that intention. But you say from implementation, coming up with the strategy, those are all very key components. But let me pick up on one item which they seem to have talked about for a long time, which is equally important, access to credit. Uh, farmers are looking to see how to get loans at single-digit interest rates. But we know what the loans are in, in this country if you need to go that route. From what you've seen, how successful or otherwise are we in achieving that single-digit interest rate, interest loan, for the farming sector? Well, uh, access to credit is still a major issue. Not just for the agricultural sector, for the entire economy. It's a major issue, especially for the segment of the economic players that are in the small and medium enterprise sector, which is where many of the players in the agricultural sector play. Because it is one thing to announce the availability of some funds somewhere. It's another thing for you to be able to access it. Most of these funds are channeled through the commercial banks. And the way some of these things work is that the commercial banks carry the credit risk of such loans. In other words, if there is a default, it is the banks that we pay, the central bank or whoever is providing the funding. And because the banks are carrying the credit risk, they put in place very stringent conditions for those that want to access the, the loan. One of the critical conditions is the collateral. How many SMEs have the kind of collateral that you require to get this credit? But are there schemes that just uh, uh, boycott things, uh, stringent conditions, like um, uh, uh, what you call now, uh, uh, setting up uh, the... Well, there, there are no schemes. I think... No, I, it, I think there, there are some schemes that the government is setting up now where you can have access to monies at 9% uh, interest rate. There are schemes. There are schemes. I mean, those things are there. But um, we are talking now of access. Wow. 
It's one thing for the funds to be there. It's another thing for you to be able to access it. If you want to access a loan and they tell you to go and bring 200% value in terms of collateral to cover the credit, how many people can get that? And not just any collateral. They could be asking for a landed property that has titles, that has CO4. They could be asking you to bring a treasury base. You know, such things. Because we are in a system where the financial system are highly risk averse. Are the banks loaning and maybe money? Rightly so. Are the banks loaning out money now? Well, the commercial banks, especially. They are loaning out money, but to very select people. And unfortunately, because of the configuration of the system itself, I mean, if you have an investment window where banks can buy treasury bills and get 18 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent, buy government bonds at 17 percent. We have incentives to lend to lend to those who are in production. So the government is the one creating this. It's, part, it's a major problem. Situation. It's so a major banks problem. shouldn't have access to that. Well, it's not a question of not having access to it, but we should not create an environment where it is easy for banks to have that kind of window. Where the, the, even the government itself is, is crowding out the private sector. Because okay. if, if, if there is this opportunity okay. to just buy treasury bills, buy government bonds, the incentives to lend to entrepreneurs are not there. We'll come back to this in a moment. Mm. Do join us again.